Okay, under normal circumstances, I'd be very excited about giving this to Nadia. In normal circumstances, I would not be excited because I've never ever opened anything that you've bought me for the garden that hasn't been dead. And given it's not normal circumstances, because our subs will have seen earlier in one of these green fingered hells, what a disaster it was when I got the last things from backer.com. Uh -huh. This is something that I ordered at the same time. So I. I think you've got to stop buying I stuff like, online. That was the decision I'd made ah. earlier. But this is the final thing that's remaining. So let's see if they can redeem themselves. Are you excited? No. Why not? Because everything is always dead, so it comes. It looks pretty dead. Huh? Well, there's a bit of green there, but it's looking a bit weak. Let's see if I can guess what it is. Um... Smells of cucumbers. I wonder if that's because it's rotting. Take it out. What is it? Hang on, don't worry. There's more. There's another thing. Oh my God, it gets even better. Let's have a look. Wow, what's this? Wow. I'm going to completely ban you from buying any plants online, babe. This is bad. <laughs> Is that legal? To sell something like that? What is it? Maddie, look. Look, look at my latest present from Daddy. What's that? <laughs> I literally dread them. Dad, what is it? What is it? And how much was it? Thank hey. you, Mads. That's like somebody just snapped a branch off the tree and put it in the box. What is it? You don't know, do I you? What I ordered Mark. two trees. Mark, you've just got a stop and you didn't get two trees. What do you mean? You've got a tree and a rotten tree. What? Mads, look at this one. Oh you won't believe this one. <laughs> it looks like pubes on a stick. Uh. It does. What is it, babe? I don't know, it's nothing. What did you pay for it? How much was that? Dad, how much was it? I don't know. Mark, what's the matter with you? I don't know. <laughs> it looks like pubes on a stick. God. Old ladies' pubes on a stick. That's oh. what that looks like. What have they sent? Look, that's the end. It looks like something Harry Potter would have used. Don't try and magic it up, babe. What the fuck is it? It's a stick. But what are any of them? I tell you what, I never, ever, ever want another present, garden present Pardon? from you. So, I never want another garden present from you. Oh, well, that's not nice. I've bought you some nice No, things. when they're done, they're nice. But when you give me boxes, they're always these things. Look at this. Have you shown them in any detail what's happening here? What is that? I don't know. What? How can you not know what well, anything uh, well, is? Well, no, because I ordered some trees. Well, uh, I beg to differ. I don't think you did order any trees, babe. I think you ordered some sticks. I didn't. I ordered trees. Is this legal? This... Is this legal to sell this to a person? Prunus domestica blue de Belgique. One of them is a pear tree. One of them is a blossom tree. I'll leave tree. it to the subs to try and what guess which one is, is a pear tree and which one's a blossom tree. That's not anything. Oh, it's an embarrassment. What the... Are they... Someone... Don't be exasperated. It's you that keeps buying these things. It's your fault. We have to swap over filming because 
I need to double check what I ordered. Right, do you want to know what I bought you as a present? A dual cherry tree, red. One of those is a cherry tree. A dual plum tree. One of those is a plum tree. These were to occupy your bed over there. And a Judas tree, a pink I, Judas tree. I don't think you can blame me in the least for not entirely believing that. They look, I mean, they look like twigs. I'm now gonna find you a Judas tree. So you know what the hell I'm talking about. That's what it's supposed to look like. Oh, it's One of those is supposed Mark, to look like that. Mark, that tree is totally beautiful. But I think you've been ripped off. You've got a twig. Look over there. Yeah. Right, it's that's one. Then I've got you one of these. I've got you a jewel cherry tree. They're very beautiful, darling. So that's that one there. That, well, let's get it and let's compare it. Look. I mean, obviously, they're not gonna, look. That. How much was it? 17 pounds. Here's that. This one obviously could be saved, but the other one's a stick, babe. One of them is a Judas tree. No, it's not, it's a stick. No, by no stretch of the imagination can you call that a tree. Which one's this? Okay, this is just a short little contribution to Green Fingered Hell. Um, so I looked at the garden. We didn't have much time this weekend to do much. So I thought, what's the one activity that could deliver the maximum return. Um, and I figured the lawns was where it was at. So before I show you, I thought I'd show Nads. Uh, I thought I'd show Nads what I've done. I don't know how you can do that in jeans. Like, I know, it's really hard. I look like I've been living... <laughs> I feel like one of those men who's been living in a, in a bush. Why, why do you say that, Ned? Babe, it's not a good look. What do you mean? I think it's quite a sweaty, cool... You, you, no, you look... No, it's I like, actually smell of like... dog shit because it's flown all over the garden. Oh, God, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think it's quite... I need you to see my work. I've literally just powered it. Look, powered it. Haven't even done a Joe Wicks. This is on top of... Smashing it. I'm smashing it in the garden. I'm smashing it. Um, I've so smashed it, I think I've done myself an injury. Oh, wow, that looks great, doesn't it? Doesn't that look good? Doesn't and what's that growing better? up the tree? Look at it. That's the wisteria. It's doing so well. Oh, you're not here for that. Yeah, me and Steve, Stephen suggested it. And me and Stephen great. put it in. So you're going to have the wisteria. The lawn's looking good, babe. Isn't it? You're doing well with the lawn. Not the lawn's done. Poo. No, it's not. It's a sock. Wow. Completely. Look, subs, there you go. That's a big That's difference. a massive difference, but come over here. Come over here and look back. You get a real sense of how that bed's gonna be. Look. Don't you? Yeah. I mean, the edge of it is still it's sorting. But I've planted three trees, you can't see, three trees, uh -huh. and uh, some camellia, and some uh, peony trees. Size of this yeah, look. Look, look at that. Now come over here. Come this way. So this is going to be your beautiful, um, that beautiful blossom tree. Fabulous. Come through here. Fabulous. Look, you've got three peony trees wow. down here. But follow me. Oh. Look. Isn't it clear? So but look, down there. Look. Mm, it smells really nice. You can see the wow. path for the first time. Oh, it looks really good. Well done, baby. That's all right. You've done a lot of hard work. It's a fucking load of work. I tell you, physical I'll kiss hard, you a bit. physical graft just I'll to kiss clear, you do bit. one job in this garden. You're pretty revolting. Thanks. Hey. I love this. So pretty. So pretty. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Love you. I think that was a positive response. Fucking <sighs> hell. Very good.
Where's the mum and dad gone? I don't know. They've gone off with the others. Do you think they're escorting them to pastures new? Maybe they're escorting them to the new block, which is your mum and dad's gaff. I feel like they come out again. Oh, yeah. Let me see it again. Oh, I can hear you. Here, it's sister. <clears throat> Your mum and dad haven't been back for ages. Squirrels may eat eggs, young birds, and smaller mammals. You're kidding me. Squirrels have been caught in the act of killing rats, mice, and birds. You're kidding. Squirrels go as far as raiding a bird's nest for food in their attack oh, no. on any nest. Oh, so maybe that is what all that is. Right, from. I think all those marks around the entrance might be an attack by a squirrel oh, or a crow. God. You know what, what we do? We, need do, to do? About we that? need to get a, a bird box that's got a metal, like a metal ring around what, the hole. Can you get them? Well, somebody needs to invent one. Can you get, a squirrel, you get a squirrel proof feeders? But can you get a truly squirrel proof must do, bird's must nest? Do. If they can raid bird's nest, somebody must have thought of it. What a lovely first morning back after a holiday. Oh, it is, isn't it? Got birds and I've heard of babies. It's very hard to show them, they're very so tiny. The one over there nearly landed on me. As it flew Excuse over me. me, it looked at me like I was a dad. Excuse me, it wasn't hard for me to show them. I was afraid David had to put I've no, got no, shots no. of them being oh, fed no. with. I can see they're in tonsils, mate. <laughs> So I wonder if that means, do you think well, the ones that... We've got that... to get a little table and chair out here. Let's come out in the morning and just sit and watch our garden through the summer. So do you because think... it's a pleasure well, and we don't allow ourselves... The I pleasure. think that's the end of procreation though now, isn't it, this year in our garden? But here's the thing, We're guys. We want it. more birds' nests because we want to encourage more birds, but we've got lots of squirrels. And here's the other thing. Now those ones have left, have they, have they permanently flown the nest? When did they come back? Is that it? Flown the nest. Yeah. We've literally, they've flown the nest. We're empty nesters now. This is symbolic. This is what's happening with our kids. They're not going to come on holiday with us again. Oh, just think, we can do whatever we want the whole holiday. That means you'll yeah. sing a lot. Yeah. Each little mm. flower mm. that walks... Well, actually, it's, it's ever appropriate, isn't it? Each now. little bird that sings... Each little bird that sings. We know that we know... Do, 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 me. All things, all things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful. The birds have just killed over. <laughs> One just fell off its perch. The went together. Lord God, God made them. Oh. Where are you going? <laughs> oh. Where are you going? Look. Well, that squirrel just fell out of a tree. What the hell? What the... Oh my Jesus Christ. Now, we don't like to swear a lot in Green Fingered Hell because we think that gardeners are a bit more sort of gentle and, and genteel and sort of sensitive. But fucking hell, I've just seen something down here that is absolutely glorious. Nads, you have to come and... Nadia, yeah. you have to come and see this. Okay. Just got back from holiday. I'm just doing a sort of survey. We're going to do a longer survey of the garden. Um, for you guys, for you to enjoy. You've seen our baby baby chicks. I feel like I, I feel like I'm a father to these chicks. Come and check this puppy out. Oh my god, Mark. <gasps> oh. oh my god, that's epic. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, look at that folks. I in my garden. Do you love it? Look I love it. Look at the disheveled. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Well, everything looks so lovely, babe. Well, we'll do all the rest of What it. are these ones called? I love these. It's something Victorian about it. It's disheveled. It doesn't look real. How does nature create that? I know. Just overnight. That wasn't there last really night. Funny look at these. Pack. That's something out of a Star Wars. Yeah, look, alien like, don't they? And the colour of that. They keep look. Yeah. look at the colour. Yeah. And these, they're so dainty so and soft. Let me talk about what they are again. Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? I mean, they're just beautiful. I love these. That. Look at this, this the orange. Can I just say, though, this has been a... Pro oh, my God, what was coming through here? Oh, look at this little red look, one. Look, Oh, beautiful. But this poppy... And look, there he is, look. <laughs> Wise and wonderful. This poppy has taken two years to come. 
Has it? Got it, got it sort of late, no, sorry, a year, a year to come. It's just been sat there, just looking like my mum. Is it beautiful? Next and we're beautiful next yeah. to it. And we're beautiful next to it. So, it's the Sunday after we've got back. We've seen spring watching the bird box. I've just done, I've got that funny, unsettled feeling around the garden where I want to do something in every part of it to feel like we're making overall progress rather than just focusing on one part of it and feeling like we're making a lot of progress in a little area. Um, I feel in a strange mood today. I feel in one of those moods where I just need to sort of almost just keep myself moving uh, just to escape, nothing in particular, but just, just to escape the nagging self-critic in the head, the one that's constantly beating the drum cracking the whip, making me feel like I've been, I'm insufficient, I haven't done that, I haven't done this, I haven't done that. I won't look at whatever I have done, I only look at whatever I haven't done. So what do you do in that situation? You get the chainsaw out and you cut down a couple more trees. Now, I've cut down nothing other than something that Stephen, you all love Stephen, who's done our utility room, tells me will only over time be a huge uh, problem or potential problem for the house. So I've cut down I'm slowly cutting down a laurel. I cut down a dead pine tree. And uh, and I'm just looking at the flower bed where me and, me and Nanny Dive started to make progress. So I just thought I'd sit at the end of the garden. It is rather nice having a cut lawn. But Toffee just keeps bringing plastic out. She's addicted to plastic. Anyway, so because I haven't grown any veg, this area looks a bit like a steptoe's yard, to quote Nads. And so, you know, I don't know. I just feel it's one of those days where it's all got on top of me and I'm just thinking, oh, what's the bloody point? Do a bit here, do a bit there. It's never enough. We haven't got enough time. Get a day like today. I want it all kind of done. I'm looking at potential new bed over there. And oh. So come on, guys. Send us some messages of support. I need some... I need an uplift. I need an uplift. It's almost like the, the baby blue tits have upped and left their nest. And I feel like the parents left behind a bit. What the hell do I do with this wreck? Before you say it, it's not about getting gardeners in because I'm enjoy there is a therapy to doing this. And, and some of the, some of the labor intensive stuff we've actually managed to do. Order another skip, start to, you know, there's the front garden, there's the, there's the drive, there's the kitchen garden, there's this area, lawn, there's this bed that we see immediately from the house. There's the patio maintaining that. So I've just been staking up some of the peonies, I've just been watering things, I've just been cutting a few sort of stumps out to clear beds. I just, just got that feeling today. Do all gardeners get that? Any gardeners out there get that feeling? Just like, oh God, what have I started? Or how can I stop? Okay, so um, Stephen's been out in the garden today on a job I think Teddy needed him to do, which was to clear some of the foliage on the dividing border between our gardens because it was causing a bit of a problem for the people living in the flat there. So I'm just coming out to have a look and oh my God, what has happened? Look at that. The entire, one entire half of the garden has been brought down. Can you, can you see? Can you actually see? Look. That was the lawn that I'd mowed, completely covered in trees. Let me go across here. Let's have a look. So, I think I know what I'm going to be doing this weekend. Shredding and wood chipping. You ready? Look. I literally can't get my head around it. These are trees that have been removed and will be replaced with trees that are required or trees that we want, trees that aren't effectively giant weeds. Most of these were sort of weedy trees that the roots would have damaged the foundation. So anyway, look, over there, we now have a fig tree. My God. So you get a man in, like you say, you get a man in, and before you know it, half your garden's gone. What's the next chapter in Green Fingered Hell? Hmm? <laughs>